University. Nice to see you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Um, boy, is there an explanation even how it's possible to be this low? There's a lot of different explanations going around, and certainly it's happened before. Dick Cheney was at 30%. He was in the 30s for a few years yeah, there. Yeah, but that was but after he shot meaningful. somebody. What is it, Leland? I said that was after he shot somebody. Okay, so, but well, no, it was also in the wake of the Iraq war. Yeah. It was when the war on terror was becoming very unpopular. But yes, 28% is meaningful. It's rare for people to have a strong opinion of vice presidents and to really care and pay attention to what they're doing. And that's different about Kamala Harris. She is more divisive than a typical vice president. You think about what 28% represents in America. 28% of people will visit a garage sale in the summer. 28% of people carry gum on them at all times. 28% of Americans bought viral stocks during the game stock surge. And the media has a 36% approval rating. Uh, like a third more Americans trust the media than they do approve of, of the vice president. Can you recover from that? Sure. Uh Americans have very short political memories. Yeah. And as you were just talking about with Chris, you don't really know for sure what things are going to look like a year down the road. But there have been these sorts of issues with Vice President Harris since she ran for president in 2020. There are leaks from her office. There are negative news reports. Uh, she doesn't do particularly well in high pressure interviews. And she's been giving this wide net of responsibilities that, yes, are very difficult issues to solve, like immigration. But there's really not a single message coming from her that syncs up with her strengths. For, um, for instance, I've written about how she should be the White House's face. Um, against the Texas abortion law. That's an issue where she has a lot of credibility, but instead she's doing these things. She's at NASA, she's going abroad to talk about climate change. Yeah, you uh, think about it, going seems abroad. seems to be no cohesive strategy. Yeah, going abroad as, as evidenced by her disasterful interview with Lester Holt, probably not uh, her strong, strong suit. You think about the other vice presidents, you brought this up, uh, Dan Quayle, Al Gore, Dick Cheney, uh, Joe Biden, only Cheney came close in his lowest approval rating. That was after he shot somebody in, in the midst of a, a very unpopular war at the end of his term. Is there ever been a time where you get this 10 point divide where the vice president is so much less popular than the president? It's very rare, uh, although certainly we've been seeing Biden's approval sink too. And so they're probably yeah. interrelated. Uh, but we typically see, and what we've seen throughout history, is vice presidential approval usually tracks very closely with presidential approval. People don't pay very much attention to the vice president. That's good from a messaging standpoint sometimes because you just want someone to go out there and double down yeah. on what you're saying or stand in for you at these ceremonial events. But when people have a strong opinion and they're paying attention, uh, that can bring good attention or it can bring very negative yeah. news stories. At and least, Vice least, President Harris has had some of that. Yeah. At, le at least in the very beginning, uh, it was always that Kamala Harris was going to be the last voice in the room and it was almost a co-president in the beginning. You saw them together so much. Clearly that, uh, that has changed. The imagery has changed. The messaging has trained, changed. Uh, Dr. Wright, good to see you, ma'am. Thanks, Leland. All right. Taxpayers are spending billions. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.